namaste gemini's welcome back to my channel if you're new i am intuitive flow this is going to be a message for you gemini so this is basically whatever comes out whatever source needs you to know this is general so please only take what resonates and leave the rest if you haven't already have you subscribed subscribe what are you waiting for okay make sure you like this video give it a big fat thumbs up as it truly helps the channel grow helps me stay in the algorithm and helps uh the soul tribe get the messages all right if you feel this may resonate with somebody you know feel free to share the video also gemini i am offering personal readings that information uh, will be in the description box on how you can book that with me. Amazon wishlist is below and also the link if you would like to give an offering. All right. So let's go ahead and hop in, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What does Gemini need to know right now? What are the messages, please? I did get some energy off of your Gemini Oracle um, because we have the number three there. And the number three with air energy gives me the three of swords. So maybe there are a few of you or there's some of you who are overcoming a heartbreak or you are learning how to balance pain and pleasure okay um this could be something that you are dealing with yourself gemini um having the urge to want to sabotage a situation because something is going so good and you're so comfortable with fucking something up sources protecting a certain connection there's no more three of swords energy in your path i feel like you are protected from heartbreak at this time, Gemini. I feel like you are definitely in alignment with your assignment as it pertains to what it is that you are calling in um, into your life. And that is in all aspects here. All right, you got knowledge. So there's some knowledge coming in that you'll be gaining around what it is that you're protected from or who and or how you can protect yourself. Okay. I feel like some of you guys may be thinking about uh, tapping into a new endeavor as it pertains to education. All right. You have noble person and divine feminine. Okay. Come through, Gemini. You are a divine feminine. You are a noble person. Or this is something that, like I said, you're working on. You're working on just being a more ethical human being. Somebody who carries their morals on their shoulders instead of lust, fear, and anguish. I feel like Source is definitely guiding you to look into noble, divine, feminine. Noble, divine, feminine. Wow, this could be something that you are, are just acknowledging about yourself or you are having some sort of enlightenment around here, Gemini. I feel like it's a shock to you. Like, I don't know. I'm just picking up an insecure energy around your purpose, around your worth. All right. So you are divine. You are noble. And it's time that you know this. It's time that you, yeah, you have discernment and you have invest. So invest into your discernment, invest into your intuition, invest into your your ability to keep tapping in to your divine self. There's something about a healing circle or a healing group, a healing foundation. Wow, this is a new beginning for you. New beginning, health, and you got group. So I, there's some help coming in or there's a, a new beginning, all right? I'm picking up on family planning as well with family and health. So I don't know if some of you guys are planning a family. All right. You got stability. What's behind there? Angel guidance. Angel. 
or angelic guidance. So there is some angelic guidance. There's angelic guidance coming in to bring you stability and health and family and in love. I'm also picking up your investments are protected here, Gemini. Use your discernment. I feel like your intuition is at an all-time high with divine feminine here. All right. I feel like there's death being brought upon your obstacles. So to me, this is obstacles being removed from your path. And then in comes abundance. Abundance comes with what? Letting go. So that you can what? Build. Gain balance. Receive justice. Look, receive injustice. I cannot make this up. Wait, I need y'all to see this. Receive justice in love. Just period. Okay, Gemini. All right, let's get into the tarot because... I'm digging this energy. I won't even lie to you. Go into protection for Gemini. Go into this protection for Gemini, please. All right, the high priestess in the reverse. So again, that's not ignoring your intuition, tapping into your intuition. For some of you guys, with this coming out in, uh, with this coming out with protection, some of you guys may be being guided to play dumb okay something about being the smartest one in the room this could also speak about overindulgence somebody <laughs> this is this is giving me someone is trying to impress you or someone is attempting to get some some information out of you by way of charm yeah, use your discernment with this person. Could be a Pisces. The initials B and J are significant here. We got the page of cups here. So somebody who is being playful. I feel like Source is wanting you to know you are free to love. Or you are free to flirt, free to have fun here. Free to roam around in your imagination here is what I'm picking up. If you have children, your child is protected. Somebody did attempt to block off your intuition, though. <laughs> you got the Empress. You got the Empress. I just heard you're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed when we come and when we go. I feel like there's a throne prepared for only you, for only you, Gemini. You could have Libra or Taurus in your chart. Some of you guys may be pregnant, though. Remember I picked up on family planning? Somebody's pregnant with a Pisces child, Libra, or Taurus. Somebody's in denial about a pregnancy. There could also be... A pregnancy coming out or being revealed, or this is a birth of something new. Um, let me see here. So, knowledge you have knowledge here. This is knowledge of the protection of your your empire, or what it is that you're growing, or what it is that you're building. Protection over your family. Something about um, a matriarch here as well, a mother or a maiden. Okay, yeah, the seven of swords. So something deceiving, deception here. All right, something that you knew. There's something about knowledge being stolen here because it's you have knowledge and then seven of swords and seven of swords think speaks about somebody being sneaky or somebody planning something. Yeah, you know what I'm getting to? It's like any and everything can be taken away from you materialistically, but as long as you have your sanity, you're fine. And I feel like that's the one thing someone knows that they cannot take away from you here, Gemini. 
you got will of fortune so something is fated there's destiny here your destiny awaits good luck is on your side six of cups so something that you wished for from your past is coming into fruition i feel like you're going to be on a good side of a wheel yeah page of wands what is noble person ace of cups in the reverse so you could have definitely went through a lot of heartbreak which i picked up on in the beginning of the reading now for others of you you could have um you could have dealt with situations where you were such a noble person and people overlooked that or they attempted to take advantage of that or they they didn't care to pour or nurture that they somebody just allowed you to overgive and overextend yourself because you that's what you were doing this is somebody with the seven of swords was going to let you basically break your neck or break your back for them as long as you would do it but i feel like okay this is somebody from your past somebody from your childhood somebody that knows the core of you and they use that to their benefit but in the end they lost a good person or they will Clarify divine feminine. All right. Nine of swords. So there's something that you are anxious about. All right. Some of you guys may be finding it hard to get some sleep. This could be in uh, regards to an opportunity coming in, a new partnership or relationship that you're entering into. All right. With the two of swords, it's something that you're deciding. All right, there's a decision that's boggling your mind here. This could be playing on your um, seven of wands. With divine feminine, there could be an energy coming towards you that resonates with your past. And now because you're tapping more into your divine feminine energy and your noble energy, you have a decision to make. Like, do I want to, you know, go down that path again? I feel like you're being guided to protect your sanity or protect your peace or protect your purpose or your, you know, the new version of yourself. Okay, the new version of yourself is very noble and is very timid in an innocent way, not in a fearful or, you know, uh, timid as being afraid, but it's delicate. This new energy invest here. But with the seven of wands, I feel like you're being guided to protect this, your divine feminine energy, just period. Because if you don't, then that leaves the door open for more, you know, projection here, especially in the dream state or in the dream realm. So when people, sh when people see that you are shielded, protected and unwavering, they're not going to fuck with you. This to me is also giving somebody a piece of your mind to where you don't have to put your hands on them. Maybe for some of you, you were quick to throw blows, but now it's like, you know, the words from my mouth going to let you know you might, you might want to walk away, all right? This is not the tree you want to bark up on. Two of swords for investment here. So you're indecisive about investing in love. This is about love, y'all. It could be about money, though, with the coins on the picture. So you could be indecisive about where you want to invest your money. I don't know if you're into like Bitcoin or um, stocks or something like that. But with the, with the Knight of Cups, this is an offering coming in. So I feel like some of you guys are indecisive about accepting an offer from someone, um, about investing into something. Source is wanting you to give it some time because clarity will come through. But whatever comes through, whatever does come through, definitely base it off your intuition. Follow your intuition. Make sure that you're tapped into the core of what it is that you ask source for. And if it's not aligned with your assignment, four of wands, if it's not bringing in balance, stability, longevity, and marriage, then that's automatically a no. Because for a lot of you guys, that's what you ask source for. All right. This is something that you can often discern right from the start here clarify discernment could be a pisces cancer scorpio coming towards you 
Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, discernment. Yeah, four of cups. So don't don't invest in something uh or don't ignore your discernment or your intuition due to boredom because you're bored, because you don't have anything to do, because um excuse me, Gemini, because you're afraid to miss out on the opportunity. All right. Some of some opportunities are meant for you to miss out on. That's those are the ones that you've used your discernment with. All right, somebody may make something sound really great. I just picked this up um, in the last reading. Um, but once you accept the offer is mundane or is minute or is, is very lackluster, okay? Underwhelming. And then it like takes you back to like your karmic past. Like, damn, I knew better. All right, it's giving me an energy of you knew better. Yeah, don't walk right into a, a trap here. All right, Geminis. So that's what I have. I pray it helps. Like the video and I will check y'all out on the next one. Peace.